Hi guys, and welcome to episode seven, Get Lit with Mrs. Schmatzer. Today, as promised, I'm going to talk about an action adventure book. And this book is called Wildfire by Rodman Philbrick. If you've read Freak the Mighty, this is the same author uh, of that book. So if you like that one, you might like this one as well. But as you can see, this is about a kid whose name is Sam, and he is consumed in a wildfire in Maine, believe it or not. He's trapped in the forest, and he meets another girl named Delphi who is also trapped in this forest. And so this whole book is about them trying to get rescued. So it kind of starts out there at this summer camp. So if you've been to summer camp, you kind of know what that is like. And they wake up to obviously smoke and they have to evacuate the camp. Sam, not very smart, goes back to get his cell phone because he wants to make sure his mom knows that he's okay. So when he goes back to get his phone, he gets lost, the buses leave, he can't evacuate. And so now he's on his own. He doesn't meet Delphi till later in the story. But when he meets Delphi, this is one other adventure that happens because then they come across a black bear. On my hikes with dad, he explained what to do if I ever came across a bear. The black bear is a complicated creature, he would say. In this part of the world, a full-grown bear has no real predators other than us. So if you meet on one of the trails, don't run. It might chase you and you can't outrun a bear. Hold your ground and the bear will likely leave. Sounds like great advice, right? But what happens if you're trying to get away from this fire and the bear is sitting in the Jeep that you need to escape, which is exactly what happens. So it doesn't want to leave. Delphi shifts with her stick. She's, has, she's using a stick as a cane because she's hurt her foot. It's scared, I think. The bear is upright in the back seat now, nodding its head back and forth, back and forth, not full grown, but not a cub either. Probably scared, like Delphi says. Scared of the storm, scared of the fire. No cave or den for shelter, so it picked the Jeep. And scared is when a bear is most dangerous. Like Dad said, usually a bear will run away rather than confront a human. But if it doesn't, things can get ugly quick. So what would you do if you came across a bear sitting in your Jeep that you needed because a fire is coming? Well, here's what Delphi does. She does something he never would have expected. Delphi marches up to the Jeep and uses her stick to press on the horn. She stands her ground, making the horn blare, and the bear bolts out of the back seat and scampers off into the woods and away from the fire. Nice meeting you, bear, she calls out, then climbs into the passenger seat, waiting for me. I get in. That was really dangerous. She smiles, as pleased with herself as I was for jumping from the deer stand. Everything we do is dangerous. It's the only way to stay alive. So if you want to figure out how they escape from these wildfires, you really want to read Wildfire by Rodman Philbert. The interesting thing is that um, this author did is this is based on some real, real life wildfires that were in Maine um many years ago and so he's got survival tips in the back of the book which i think is kind of interesting and then he also talks about um the real events that happened in maine uh, and so i kind of like when things are fiction but based on something that really happened so obviously this is a realistic fiction book and so you can learn a little bit more of that as well so guys i hope you enjoyed Wild wildfire and stay tuned my next review will be a graphic novel so i know a lot of you really like those have a great day.